Hi, it's Mike Chen. Ever since I started Beyond Science, people have been sending me requests to talk about this topic. So finally, three years later, let's get into it. The enigma of spontaneous human combustion, or SHC, is considered to be among the most bizarre and frightening phenomena in the world of unexplained and the unknown. I mean, think about it, people just randomly exploding. And for several centuries, people have debated whether it is possible for human beings to just spontaneously combust or randomly burst into flames without being ignited by an external source. Many people believe that stories of humans spontaneously combusting are mere urban legends, eerie and horrible horrific tales of human beings bursting into flames that never actually happened to real people. But there are other researchers who have extensively studied the unusual phenomena and believes that instances of people turning into charred remains and ashes are more of a rare but also very real occurrence than just a word of mouth tale of fiction. So what is spontaneous human combustion? Spontaneous combustion occurs when a person bursts into flames from a chemical reaction from within, apparently without being ignited by an external heat source. The first known accounts of spontaneous human combustion date back as far as the 17th century, but it was in the 19th century that the phenomenon gained wider exposure after popular author Charles Dickens used it to kill off one of the characters in his novel Bleak House. At the time, Dickens was criticized for legitimizing an urban myth that did not exist, but the author pointed to research showing 30 historical cases of the phenomenon. Hundreds of spontaneous human combustion accounts over several centuries have followed a similar pattern. The victim is almost completely consumed, usually inside his or her home. Those who arrive at the scene sometimes reported detecting a sweet, smoky smell in the room where the incident occurred. But what makes the charred bodies of the victims of spontaneous human combustion so peculiar is that the body's extremities often remain intact. Although the torso and head are burned beyond recognition, the hands, feet, and even parts of the legs may be left unburned. Also, the room around the burned victim shows little or no signs of fire, apart from a greasy residue that sometimes remain on furniture and walls. Also, not all cases involving spontaneous human combustion end up with victims completely burning into flames. Some people even develop strange burns on their bodies which have no obvious source or emanate smoke from their bodies when no fire is actually present. Moreover, not every person who has caught fire ended up meeting their demise in the process. A small percentage of people have allegedly survived from their respective incidents of this phenomenon. So let's now talk about some real life cases. Many people believe that the history of SHC can be traced back in early texts like the Bible and medieval literature. And over the past 500 years, there have been more than 200 reports of people burning to a crisp for no clear reason at all. The first reliable evidence of this enigmatic phenomenon appears to be from 1641, when the Danish physician Thomas Bartholin detailed the death of Polonus of Vorstius in his book Historium in Atomicarum Rariorum, which is a collection of strange medical phenomena. Vorstias was an Italian knight who in 1470, while he was at home in Milan, drank a very strong wine and began to vomit fire before bursting into flames. One famous incident dates back to 1725 in France when a Parisian innkeeper was awakened by the smell of smoke and he discovered that his wife, Nicole Millet, had burned into ashes while lying on a straw pallet, which itself was untouched by the flames. All that was left of Madame Millet, who was allegedly a chronic alcoholic was her skull, several bones from her back, and lower legs. Millet's husband was initially found guilty for murdering the woman, but on appeal, the judges agreed with his defense of spontaneous human combustion, declaring it to be the consequences of a visitation of God. While it may seem that cases of SHC are nothing more than old wives' tale or stories confined to books of antiquity, there are several accounts of this horrific phenomenon even in modern times. The most recent account took place in Ireland in 2000 2010, in which the burned body of 76-year-old Michael Faraday was found lying with his head near the fireplace of his apartment in a room that had virtually no fire damage. No traces or burn marks were found on the floor, on the ceiling directly above him, or anywhere else in the room. An Irish coroner later ruled the unexplained death to have fit into the category of spontaneous human combustion. So if SHC is real, 
it does happen, what causes it? Well, first of all, to combust, a human body requires two indispensable things, intensely high heat and a flammable substance. Under ordinary circumstances, the human body contains neither. But some of the experts over the past few centuries have speculated on some of the possible explanations for this rare occurrence. At present, there are already several theories that attempt to explain this phenomenon. Some hypotheses attempt to explain how spontaneous human combustion might occur without an external flame source, while others suggest that although some of these instances might appear to be spontaneous, the combustion actually had an external source of ignition. A very popular and long existing theory on this phenomenon speculates that the victims of SHC are usually heavy drinkers of alcohol, which of course is a flammable liquid, and so its excess consumption may have caused the combustion process. Other theories blame a person's obesity or increased body weight caused by the excessive accumulation of fat, while there are those that consider it a divine intervention or a punishment from God. Another prevalent theory proposes that SHC occurs when methane, a flammable gas produced from the decomposition of plants, builds up in the intestines and is ignited by enzymes, proteins in the body, that act as a catalyst that induces and quickens chemical reactions. There is also a theory speculating that a person is set aflame as a result of a buildup of static electricity inside the body or from an external geomagnetic force exerted onto the body. And finally, according to Larry Arnold, a self-proclaimed expert on SHC, the phenomenon is the work of a new subatomic particle called a pyroton, which he claims to have the ability to interact with cells to create a mini explosion. While many of these theories have attempted to explain SHC, none of these proposals have succeeded in scientifically proving their claims. At present, the theory that is most approved by experts in science in explaining SHC is referred to as the Wick Effect. The Wick Effect likens the body of a burned victim to, well, a candle. A candle, of course, is made up of a wick on the inside while it is surrounded on the outside by a wax coating made of flammable fatty acids. According to this hypothesis, a small external source, like a burning cigarette, for example, ignites the wick or the victim's clothing or hair with the person's body fat acting as the flammable substance that keeps the wick burning for as long as there is fuel or fat available. Supporters of this theory claim that the wick effect is consistent with the evidence recovered from cases of human combustion. The human body allegedly has enough stored energy and fat and other chemicals inside to fully combust the body itself. Hence, the effect of slow combustion lasting for hours in an enclosed area is sufficient in explaining why the victim's bodies are destroyed during such instances while their surroundings are barely burned. As for the greasy stains left on ceilings and walls, well, supporters of this theory reveal that these remnants could simply be the residue that was produced when the victim's fatty tissue burned. So in conclusion, many people share the opinion that there is much about the human body that makes us unique among other earthly creatures that we still don't fully understand. And one of them is spontaneous human combustion. This rare phenomenon seems to strike without warning and leaves no clue when it does. Until now, no scientist or investigator has determined the critical set of circumstances that could sufficiently and scientifically bring body cells to the point at which they might burst into flames spontaneously without external influence. So for me personally, I do believe that this phenomenon is real. I do believe it happens. It is rare, but it is a real phenomenon. It's not just a urban legend. As to why it happens, I really have no idea. I mean, there are some legends in parts of the world that say that humans are descendants of dragons. So I don't know, are we mutating? Are we trying to evolve to the stage where we can breathe fire, but as of now, we just explode? I really have no idea, but let me know what you guys think. First of all, do you believe that spontaneous human combustion is real? Is this a real phenomenon? And if so, why do you think it happens? Also, something else I wish we would research more when we encounter victims of SHC. Can we try to determine if right before they exploded, they visited Taco Bell? And in the old days before they exploded, were they eating a pot of beans? I don't know, just a theory. All right, guys, thank you all so much for watching this video. I'll see you later.